this is it. We're finally going to the eighth planet from the sun, Neptune. I've always wanted to go to this guy. Why's that? Come on, freezing cold? Really far away? This is the perfect place to hide away and play some video games. Wait a second, how cold are we talking here? You have no idea. Neptune has some of the craziest weather in the entire solar system. Neptune is the windiest planet in our solar system, with winds that can reach over 1,200 miles per hour. Whoa! That's six times faster than a Lamborghini. Such powerful winds were seen in a huge storm called the Great Dark Spot. This huge spinning storm was about the size of the entire Earth. The Great Dark Spot was first discovered when the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Neptune in 1989. But when a telescope examined Neptune in 1994, the Great Dark Spot was gone. And a different dark spot had appeared. What? On top of all this crazy wind, Neptune is also extremely cold, with an average temperature of negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Sounds like the perfect place to hide and play video games. Yeah. I'm assuming you know how to get there. Yep. I wrote the directions on my hand. Huh? Oops. Sorry. Wrong hand. <laughs> Funny hand. So how long until we're there? Let me explain it to you again. At its closest point, Neptune is about 2.7 billion miles from Earth. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, there are no people there or anything, right? That's right! The only spacecraft that has ever visited Neptune was NASA's Voyager 2, which visited the planet during its grand tour of the solar system. Voyager 2 made its Neptune flyby on August 25th, 1989, passing within 2,000 miles of the planet's North Pole. It took Voyager 2 12 years to reach Neptune. What? 12 years? Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Relax, 12 years is nothing. I bet we've been flying close to 12 years now and you haven't even noticed. Yeah. Roberta, how long have we been flying? Two minutes and 26 seconds. Okay, now you can freak out. Y'all take a chill! We should arrive in 11 years, 364 days, 23 hours, 57 minutes, and 20 seconds. Ugh, what are we possibly gonna do for almost 12 years? One year later. Three years later. Doc, are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Eight years later. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit off the top right here. I'm gonna give you what's called a bowl cut. Eleven years later. Twelve years later. Andy! Andy, wake up! We're here! Wait a second. That's not Neptune. That's a blue M&M. It is? Stupid hand directions. Yeah. Let me see that hand. Are you serious? No. Those were really your directions? It wasn't my fault, I... Whoa. A really big blue M&M. What did you just call me? He said you're a giant blue... Three hours later. Mr. DeMeo! Mr. DeMeo! Are you okay? Ugh, yeah, I'm fine. Wait a second! I'm not green! Uh-oh. Neptune headbutted you so hard you turned to Steve. And he's coming back for more! Neptune, with its bluish color, was named after the Roman god of the sea. Hey, that's my line! Hit him again! Let's sneak up on him from behind. Sum of the square roots of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining sides. He's really good at math. Neptune, may I inquire as to how you knew that we were arriving to your stern? What does that even mean? Yeah. What my fine-feathered friend meant to say was, 
How did you know we were coming behind you? You? I can smell you coming from a million miles away. But you don't have a nose. I know. I smelled you with my eyes. Mm, what a conundrum. Perhaps your ability mirrors that of the common housefly, which can, of course, taste with his feet. What? Are we going to have to deal with this the whole time? Bring back the chicken parm loving, Mr. DeMeo. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm wholly uncertain of whom you speak. Ugh. Neptune, any chance you have a solid surface I can drop this weirdo off on? Well, not exactly. Let's break me down into a few layers. First is the outer atmosphere. Here is where you would see my extreme winds. Next is my atmosphere, which is mostly made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Oh no! Beneath that is my mantle. This is where you would find water, ammonia, and methane ices. And beneath all of that is a solid, rocky core. Excuse me, my dear Neptune. Can you be a doll and tell me where that blue raccoon-like creature went? Hey, I'm Mr. DeMeo and I... Wait a second. What? I'm not a raccoon. Yeah. Neptune, whack this guy. I want the old DeMeo. Well? Oh, where am I? Whoa, a small blue raccoon. I am not a raccoon. Let me guess. I think Mr. DeMeo has amnesia. He doesn't know where or who he is. Forgot where he is, huh? Hey, my new friend. What, Blue Raccoon? Do you see that little red button down there? The one that says, a jerk? What? Yes, the one that says, a jerk. No. Can you, uh, hit that for me real quick? Yeah, sure. Okay, is it me or did your spaceship just poop out a person? Yeah. If I tell you, will you answer some questions? Ugh, fine. Okay, let's start with an easy one. How big are you? Well, I'm the fourth largest planet in the solar system. I'm about four times the size of Earth. If Earth were the size of a nickel, I would be like a basketball. Whoa. This next one should be quick with that weirdo not around. Ooh, speaking of quick, how long are the days and years on you? That's an easy one. As you may know, a planet's day is the time it takes the planet to rotate once on its axis. Neptune rotates faster than Earth. So a day on Neptune is shorter than a day on Earth. Hey! A day on Neptune is about 16 Earth hours, while a day on Earth is 24 hours. Ooh. A year is measured when a planet completely orbits around the sun. And since Neptune is so far, it takes about 165 years to completely go around it. And this fact actually ties into who discovered it. The first person to have seen Neptune was likely Galileo, who marked it as a star in one of his drawings. Hey now, I drew a star star, I like drawing stars, I draw stars. However, since he did not identify it as a planet, he is not credited with the discovery. What? That's not fair at all. That credit goes to two astronomers who discovered it separately. Britain's John Couch Adams. I just really like couches. And France's Urban Le Verrier. I'm wearing a very big jacket. They both had a difficult time convincing their colleagues to spend any time actually looking where they suggested the planet might be. But in 1846, astronomer Johann Gottfried Gale used the calculations by Le Verrier and Adams to find Neptune. I think I found Neptune. Both astronomers claimed that they were the first to discover the planet, and it led to an international dispute. Eventually, both Le Verrier and Adams were given credit for discovering Neptune in 1846. So if I was discovered in 1846, and it takes 165 years for me to go around the sun, then that means... Since its discovery, Neptune has only gone around the sun once! <laughs> Whoa, your spaceship's poop is alive! How did you get back in here? You know, I don't really remember. The last thing I did was hit this red button. <laughs> oh, a blue m, &M. Hey, where's Andy? Whoa! You have your memory back. It's the real Mr. DeMeo. Let's do the test. What's your favorite food? Chicken Parmesan. What's your neighbor's name? Krusty Face. Come on, what are we doing here? 
Our friend Neptune here hit you so hard you lost your memory and you accidentally sent Andy into outer space. No, 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 no. Pooped him into outer space. Yeah. Well, what are we doing? We have to go rescue Andy. Hold on, I'll give him a ring. Hey, wait a second. Speaking of rings, do you have rings, Neptune? I thought you had to go rescue your friend. Answer my ring question. Uh, fine. Yes, Neptune does have rings but they were only discovered in 1989. There are five rings. Gale, Leverrier, Lucelle, Arago, and Adams. There's also a sixth ring without a name. All of them were named after the astronomers who made an important discovery regarding Neptune. Also, they are mostly made of dust and rock. It's believed that the rings of Neptune are relatively young much younger than the age of Uranus' rings. Some believe the rings were created when one of Neptune's inner moons got too close to the planet and was torn apart by gravity. Moons? Tell me about those. Don't you have to go rescue moons. your- Moons! But he needs your help and you should- Moons! Ugh, fine. I have 14 moonies. The most important of my moonies is Triton. Triton is the largest of all my moonies. It has a retrograde orbit, which means that instead of rotating in the same direction as the planet, it moves in the opposite direction. Well, that's it. If Andy is anywhere, he's gonna be on Triton. Quick, Neptune, whack us as hard as you can so we can get close to Triton. Hey, where's Mr. DeMeo? Oh no! Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Do me a favor and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at those names down there. I'd really appreciate it. But I especially appreciate my patrons on Patreon. Especially Miss Jackie's class, Mr. Nicholas, Miss Kay's third grade class, Robinson, Anthony, and Wasker, Creative Devin and Zach T, Leif Anderson Miller, Arthur Watson, Awakening Spirit School, Avery L, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Jack and Easton Hess, Cash Kaser, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Danielle Peterson, Gavin and Ian Eshteg, Darian Calvin, Ethan Schultz, Ari, aka R Tank, Gavin Meidel, Dom and Ollie, Brenton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Isley and Jude Siegel, Aiton Judah, Elijah Robert, Dora and Levi, Nora Close, Emerson Dean, Dean Scandalakis, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin, and Addie, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Simon, Natalie, and Liam McNulty, James Berg, Pfeiffer III, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan Grainer, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Madeline and Caroline Kerr, Aria and Kieran, Judah Moore, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Krusty Face, Jack McGinney, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Rory, The Rivard Boys, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, Amelia Murray, Jack and Lucas, Michelle and Conrad, Leah and Gavin Clark, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Wesley C, Elijah and Aiden Rodriguez, Harry, Max, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Jake Hill, Gavin Moore and Paige Lawton, Patrick and Edward Adams, Tegan and Callan Leon, Evan Gray, Davin Kimothy, Wyatt Michelle, and Zeno the Shark. Want to get your name in a video too? Visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and like I said, get your name in a video, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden the secret coupon code in this video. It's black and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. You can use it to buy cool stuff from my Teespring store like my planet pillows, Mr. DeMeo Mario Kart shirt, what is pants shirt, and more. And last, test your Neptune knowledge with my Neptune quiz at my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I have quizzes and worksheets for all of my other videos there too. Check the description box for a link. Bye.
Thank you.